Hi, I'm Nathan Seconder. I'm a middle school librarian in Stafford County. I teach at Gale Middle School. And uh, during these weeks at home, I've been spending a lot of time sharing maker projects and reading suggestions with some of my students. But I wanted to share a little bit about the maker project that's been happening uh, here in our house over the last few weeks. Uh, we've um, gotten contributions from so many schools in Stafford County. Uh, they've shared their 3D printers with us. And so now we have uh, eight 3D printers going. Uh, we've had them going for the last, um, last few days now. And we're printing uh, lots of material for our healthcare workers in our community. Uh, it started with a request uh, from one of our area hospitals. Uh, and they were looking for this mask, this 3D printed mask. It's called the Montana mask. Uh, and it is a reusable um, uh, face mask that comes in two parts uh, with a filter holder uh, and this piece right here. Uh, and the advantage of this is um, if someone uses this, we've been hearing so much about the N95 uh, surgical masks that are in such high demand in our community and everywhere in our country. Uh, well, they can be cut up into smaller pieces. Uh, and so one typical N95 mask can, can uh, be cut into six squares uh, and be reused a number of times um, uh, for that healthcare provider. So uh, we received that request and immediately started printing uh, with our printers here. Uh, we've received other requests as well, so we've been excited to add uh, a face shield here. This is from a, a company called Prusa uh, that shared this design, uh, and this is a, um, a disposable face shield uh, that healthcare workers can wear. And then finally, uh, the last design came to us uh, from a 12-year-old in British Columbia named Quinn, uh, and this is a strap holder. Uh, this is, uh, again, something that uh, can uh, be secured on the back of the head uh, and hold those face mask straps uh, in just a way that's a little bit more bearable for people that wear those for many, many hours. We've been excited to grow this over the last few days and last few weeks. Uh, it came from support from our, um, our Stafford schools. Uh, we have donations from area high schools, elementary schools, and middle schools to get us our, our selection of lots and lots of printers. They've donated their materials, uh, and we thank them for that. Uh, we've also received uh, some contributions from family and, friend and friends in our community uh, for things like uh, some of the foam material uh, and some of the plastic and elastics that we need to make these masks complete. So we're excited to share that, uh, and we want to thank the community uh, and for all of their support as we help our healthcare providers uh, get the resources that they need. So these are some of the 3D printers we have in action. And again, some of these come from Gale Middle School, but many of them come from lots of schools uh, in our community. If you're a Stafford County student, you may have seen one of these in your local libraries. Uh, we want to thank all the librarians that help to share their resources while we're all away from school. Uh, and you can see things like the Montana mask being printed here. It takes about four hours to print one of these, so it does take a while, and so we run these printers basically nonstop uh, around the clock over the last week. We use quite a bit of filament, uh, and you can see <clears throat> this is our recent pile of some of our uh, prints as we wait to get them prepped uh, for the next step. This has been a real community affair. Uh, we've had uh, lots of contributions from our neighbors, our family, uh, and friends uh, who wanted to do things like donate elastic uh, or some of the transparencies or, and some of the foam for the masks. And we want to thank all of them. This is our production team right here. This is Megan. Uh, and she's working to do that final assembly on some of these masks. And you can see they get a foam insert and elastic before they get sanitized. So we're doing those assembly as fast as we can so that way we can get them to the healthcare workers that need them. We know we, they need them quickly. So thank you all for your support and we're gonna keep printing.